the first market selling model that we have done okay is about non price competition and there we have seen that okay uh, firm has incentive to deviate okay if their cost differ so they will not agree on the cut in price okay whatever be the cut in price they will not agree because their profit maximization price differ okay there is another market selling model that is quite famous is the quarter okay quarter system so under this system what happen is that uh, here quarter is fixed market share is fixed how much unit of output each firm will produce okay so here we are going to follow quarter system okay and in the quarter system okay market share of each firm is fixed number one market Share of each firm is fixed, or you can say quarter is fixed. Okay, they need, uh, they no need to charge uniform price. Okay, no need to charge uniform price. Here it is not necessary that they should charge uniform price. Okay, but in the non-price competition, they should be charging uniform price. Okay. Problem here is that how we are going to fix the quota. Okay, so fixation of quota. Okay, is a problematic thing. Okay, and it depend on three thing. Number one, bargaining power or strength of the firm. Okay, then second thing is that. How much output that firm is producing? Okay, in the pre-carted period. Okay, before they form agreement. Okay, what is the share of that firm? Okay, so relative share of firm in pre-carted period. Okay, and the third thing that is important. Okay, is the base year production capacity. Base year production capacity. Okay. So the second system that we are going to know, or second matter that we are going to know, okay, about market sharing, okay, is the quarter. So in the quarter, market share is going to be fixed. Price may not be uniform, okay, uh, may not be similar. It can be different, okay. Uh, fixation of quota is problematic. Okay, it depends on the bargaining power strength of the firm. Okay, it it depends on the relative share of each firm. Okay, in the pre-carting period and base year production capacity. Okay, can you everyone? Okay, now after quota is fixed. Okay, once the quota is fixed, firm will be charging different price based on their demand analysis. Some demand will be more elastic, some will be less elastic. Okay, that is why price differ. Second thing, even if the demand condition is same, okay, if cost condition differ, price will differ. If you remember yesterday graph, okay, demand I have drawn the same, I have changed the cost condition. Okay, so one firm is producing more output, charging lower price. Other firm, second firm is producing more output, charging higher price. Okay, so. How can we visualize okay this kind of analysis? Okay, so we will be doing one modeling, simple model. Okay, where we are taking two firm, okay, that have identical cost and demand function. Okay, so we will be having two firm. Okay, they will be having same cost function, same demand function. They will be producing homogeneous product. They know interest rate. Okay, that is thing what we are going to visualize. So these are the assumption of the model that we can take. Okay. Now, when we are considering assumption, you can write the assumption into one. Okay. So you will be having two firms. Okay. Uh, they will be selling homogeneous product. Okay. Uh, third, they will be having uh, identical cost. They will be selling the market equally. 
Do they have identical demand? Okay, they will be selling the market equally. Uh, no entry trade is there. Okay, and now you can they will charge uniform price. Okay, so before I draw this graph, okay, remember when I am drawing the graph. First thing what I will be doing, I will be giving you the technique, how to draw the graph, okay. After that I will be providing explanation. First you need to know how to draw the graph, okay. So before I draw the graph, okay, when you have this case, okay, where firm have identical post and demand condition, okay, ideal market share is that both firm must be producing, okay, equal now, okay. So here, uh, ideal market share will be okay, both firm must be producing uh, equal amount of output okay so when we are doing the graph we will be using one condition okay share total market among firms in such a way such that marginal cost of industry equal the Marginal cost of individual firm. Okay. So when we are going to sell the market equally, we will be using this condition. Can everyone? Yes, no. Okay. Here when we are driving the industry AR curve, MR curve, MC curve, okay. If you remember, I have told you that when you are driving this, okay. It will be horizontal summation of two firm AR cup, two firm uh, MR cup, okay, and marginal cost cup also we will be driving by the horizontal summation, okay. So here you have simple derivation, and uh, since you have not done multiplan mo uh, monopoly, okay, so in the short term, how this multiplan monopoly determining output, okay, how much they are going to produce in different plant, okay, it is a similar case to that, okay. So uh, later on when you are going to study multi-plan monopoly, you will be getting the similar kind of graph, okay? This one. Okay, first I am going to tell you the technique to draw the graph, okay? You have to draw three panels. There is a graph with... Uh, one new, uh, there is only one graph case also. If, if you want to do that one, you can do that one also. Okay, there is no issue with that. So both firm have identical demand. Okay. First, I am drawing the demand. Okay. See, this is firm one. This is firm two. And this is industry. And I am considering only duopony case. You can be having more than two firm case, okay? But for simplicity, we are taking two firm case, okay? So when both firm have identical demand, they will start from the same intercept, okay? They will have same slope, okay? I have to draw in the same way. Graph should be same, okay? Here also in this stream, intercept will be here, but it will be finiter than this two curve. Make it uh, same. And this one little bit finite. Okay. First is taking this one. This is industry income one. This is uh, market demand for firm one. This is MR curve. Just like AR one. AR two, sorry. AR two, MR two, AR one, MR two. Okay. Uh, this is marginal cost of firm one. Okay. What I have written there such that marginal cost of industry equal to the marginal cost of firm okay when both have identical cost okay so this marginal cost curve must be same for firm two also because both firm we have assumed that they have identical cost okay so you have to draw the same curve here draw it same it will be bad but it will be similar okay draw the curve same okay I am taking this, extending this here. Okay. Now, 
this is the when I am looking at from one independent mean, this function will be producing say OP1 output and charging price OPM. No, sorry, price will be MI equal to MC, price will be here. OPM. In here, everyone, price will be read from demand curve. Here, okay. This part is clear. When, when firm 1 is acting independently, it will be producing OP1 output in equilibrium, charging price OP1. Similarly, firm 2, this part will be same, okay. Don't go by my graph because I told you that in board it is very difficult to draw graph, okay. This part must be equal to this part, okay. So, when you draw in a copy, I will send the photo I have in the copy that has same part, okay. So, this will be OP2, price will be same if, if you look at price will coming to be same. This is uh, giving you the technique how to show that. This must be the price that industry will be having. Okay, we have to keep this in mind. And I'm doing this must be the OQ output. That must be a summation of this and this. OQ one plus OQ two is equal to OQ. Okay. Now I have to draw. Okay, summation of marginal will be such that. Okay, uh, industry marginal cost equal to firm marginal. So this point is important. My marginal cost must be coming from here, okay. And for profit maximization, if I am going to produce this output, my MR curve must be going from here, okay. So this is my MR curve. Marginal cost will be connected here because it is a summation of these two, summation of marginal cost, okay, of both firm, okay. So you are going to produce OP output in industry, okay, and charging price this. So this is the method to draw graph, okay? Otherwise you can make mistake. So when you are drawing graph, remember this is step, okay? Now, when we are writing the answer, we have to talk from industry perspective, okay? In everyone? Yes, no? Okay? So remember the process to draw the graph, okay? If you follow other process, chances are that you will make mistake, okay? Okay. Uh, now, in industry, okay, when you are taking the horizontal summation, okay, where both firm have identical demand, identical cost, okay, this is the margin cost curve, okay, MI equal to MC condition giving me that industry will produce OQ output, okay, and this output will be distributed to the among firm 1 and firm 2. Firm 1 will produce OQ1 output and firm 2 will produce OQ2 output, okay, and both firm in equilibrium will charge same price, OPM, okay. At this price will be their profit maximizing price. Okay? Clear? Okay. So under identical cost and identical demand curve, okay, firm market share will be same. Okay. Here, what we have to remember, okay, the total market, okay, uh, that uh, the, the total market that output that we have, okay, must be shared equally among both firms. Okay, how can we do that? By setting industry marginal cost equal to marginal cost of each firm. Okay, so we are getting the condition where both firm are producing equal output and charging equal price. Okay, but this is a hypothetical case, right? If you have two firm, okay, they have we are saying that they have identical demand, they have same elasticity. That means, okay, they have same cost. Okay. So it is obvious that they will be they will be producing same level of output. It is obvious that they will be uh, charging same price in equilibrium. Okay. So when we are looking at industry, okay, where you have two firm that have identical cost, identical demand, okay. So whatever output that will be produced in the industry, it will be distributed, okay, equally among them, okay, and they will be charging the price that is determined in the industry. And both firm will be included. In practice, if you look at, okay, there are more than two firms in oligopolistic industry. You will not have two firm. Even you, if you are taking two firm case, okay, their cost condition can also differ. Okay, so in oligopolistic industry where you have more than two firm, okay, their cost may not be identical. It is very hard to find that every firm will have same cost. Okay, so cost will differ. Okay. When cost differ, their market share can also differ. Okay. So what firm generally do is that they independently set their price, okay, 
how they set the price by m i equal to m second this sum. Okay, they set the profit maximizing output and charge the price according according to m i equal to m second this sum. Okay, and they may not be charging the same price. Here what we are saying is that they are charging the uniform price. Okay, so under quarter system, okay, if costs are not identical, okay, you are allocating the quarter to firm. But it is not necessary that they will be charging the same price. Is it clear? Remember in the non-price competition, when we are setting the uniform price, what is happened? Both firms have incentive to deviate, right? Yes or no? Yesterday video, okay. Today we are saying that we are setting the quarter, okay. But cost differs, suppose. When cost differ, the no-cost firm can increase the profit. By reducing the price, why it will be holding the quarter output, right? It can increase the output, right? So it is they have incentive to deviate. Okay, so that is why we are saying that in the quarter, firm can charge different price. Firm can charge different price under different cost condition. Okay, or if the cost condition is same, demand condition differ, they can charge different price. Okay, so suppose you have two firm. Okay. One firm cost is no, another firm cost is high, and have identical demand condition. So the no cost firm will be having higher market share than the high cost firm. Okay, they may be charging the same price or different price. Okay, now first case. Second thing understand. If they no entry, okay, firm would like to charge profit maximizing price. Okay, if they no entry in the industry, no firm is coming. Firm would like to charge the profit maximizing price. Okay, if firm is acting according to uh, M I equal to M C condition and charging the profit maximizing price. Okay, but if there is a threat to entry, okay, when they will see that new firm is going to enter, that can increase the capacity. Okay, within the industry, capacity will increase, so there will be excess capacity when new firm will come up. Okay, and that may reduce the profit. Okay, earned by the two firm that you have in the industry. Okay, so when there is a threat that new firm will enter in the industry, okay, they may agree upon a price that may not be their profit maximizing price. Okay, so there may be a uniform price. Okay, even in the quarter system, what I'm trying to say is that there may be uniform price that may not be profit maximizing price, but it can be closer to your profit maximizing price. Okay, provided that there is a threat that new firm can enter. Okay. So in the quarter system, under what condition we can see that the firm are charging uniform price, even having different costs, when there is a threat to entry. Okay. So when firm see that there is a threat to entry, they will be charging price different from their profit maximizing price in order to avoid uh, entry of new firm. Okay. So that is what we have in the quarter system. Next, we will be looking at uh, limitation of the cartel. Okay. Head of the graph. Okay, let me summarize this. Okay. Uh, so in the quarter, what I am saying is that okay, when you have identical cost and identical identical demand, okay, for both firm, firms will share market equally and charge uniform price. Second thing is that if cost condition differ, okay, if you have no cost firm and a high cost firm, okay, then what will happen? Quarter will differ, right? Quarter of two firm will differ. If cost condition differ, okay, market share of firms will differ. They may or may not be charging uniform price. Okay, if they don't have entry threat, okay, in case of no entry, they may be charging different price. Different price means profit maximizing price. Okay, 
in case of integer they may be charging okay a price different price that they agreed upon that may not be their profit maximizing price okay in case of integer they may be charging uniform price which may not be their profit maximizing price but it is closer to profit maximizing price okay in some terms or you can write this in here this thing yes no okay now i am going to end this uh, carton thing okay in the carton we have look at a uh, two case okay we have look at uh, perfect carton and market sharing carton in the market sharing carton we have look non price competition then we have look at pot up okay and there is a geographical location based distribution is there okay but it is not required okay uh, this is sufficient for the examination purpose okay i'm uh, looking at the limitation of the carton and i'm talking about limitation of the carton okay i will be considering everything okay that we have yes or no in the carton okay it not create in carton it not create condition of price stability okay because there will be on the incentive to deviate yesterday i talked about okay there will be incentive to deviate okay why there will be incentive to deviate because agreement is not binding agreement is not binding okay also here what we see is that if there is a entry okay there is no mechanism that you can prevent it okay no mechanism to prevent entry if you remember there is a color tv color tv channel right yes or no everyone home has cable tv right at the time you have g sony on this thing okay this uh, tv channel enter the market okay and it come with some of the popular it has created some of the reality show popular reality show by making huge expenditure and make inroad in the market okay so there is no mechanism to prevent it okay that is also one problem that you have last month presence of g channel So when you have presence of C channel, okay, what will happen? The price and output stability will not be there, okay, because one firm, okay, may be cheating, okay, and in this way there will be instability in the price and output, okay. In everyone, okay. So here uh, we finish the carton section. In the next section, I am going to do price leadership model.